Hi, Miss Julia here. So today we're going to do um, a cartoon. I'm going to show you some technique on cartooning, animation, and pen work. So uh, we're going to use Sharpie pen. We want a permanent ink marker. Uh, it can be um, just a, um, a finer tip if you want, but watch the video and then you decide what tip you want to use. Uh, but there is some fun little techniques I'm going to show you on uh, animation and cartooning. Okay, have a great day. So on this video, we're going to do a cartoon. Now I thought the best way to start this piece, we're going to do a, a little animation piece of, um, and I'll explain as we go and see how you see it emerge. Um, I'm going to think about my thirds. So I'm going to tick off my third at the top of this sheet right here. So. Think of your paper into three equal sections. So I'm ticking off this third. Then I'm looking at the side here and I'm looking for my thirds. And even with this, I'm just gonna start with a dot. So here's my other third right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start one third of the way down and one third of the way over. And I'm gonna do mine in marker, but you can do yours first in um, pencil and then marker it in later in case you wanna erase something. So I'm going to start off with a profile. So a profile means the side of a face. So I'm going to do a nice little big nose. Then I'm going to put a little eye, a little comma eye, just a dot with a slash. Then I'm going to come down with a big smile, add my cheek to that smile. Then I'm going to put a little protruding bottom lip and a little chin. So I'm going to show you a little trick. So you got the side of a face. So a lot of times in cartooning, if you really look at the actual image that you're looking at, this is something that cartoonists do a lot, is they take a profile face and turn it into a three-quarter or a front view face. So I'm putting in a second eye, and then I'm just going to go all the way around the original face that I drew, and suddenly it becomes the front of the face. So it's kind of a little trick that they do in cartooning. They've simplified, simplified the profile onto a front view face because you can see the features better. So now even with the bottom of the nose, I'm going to put in a couple of ears. Okay. And I'm going to give this guy kind of some sticking up kind of goofy hair. And I'm going to put a little pair of spectacle glasses on the end of his nose. Now, I'm going to take and add a couple of shoulders. If you notice, I did the shoulders almost halfway between his ear and his chin to make it look like his shoulders are raised up like he's scrunched a bit. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to make him a piano player. I'm going to add a couple of wrinkles in the elbow area of his clothing. I'm going to add a couple of cuffs, little square cuffs on his coat, little button. Then I want you to start with just the side of a finger and a thumb. Okay, side of a finger and a thumb. Then what we're going to do is make it like a twinkling hand by adding another finger, another finger, and maybe a finger dangling down. Over here, another finger, another finger, and a finger dangling down. So it gives the fingers movement. They look like they're moving. Now I'm going to take and add a couple of motion lines to make these look like they're wiggling. Okay, and then for his clothing, I'm going to give him a bow tie. A couple little wrinkles in the bow tie. I'm going to put a nice big jacket collar like he's wearing a tux or a dress shirt. Put some buttons down the center here. And then I'm gonna add the rest of his arm into the space and then a little hint of body. Now, I want him playing the piano. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not just gonna put a piano, I'm gonna animate the piano. So I'm just gonna start with a swoop like this. And I'm going to swoop it again and have it get skinnier at one end and fatter as it comes at you in the middle. Then I'm going to go around the front again, the front of the piano. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take right in the center of this, 
I'm going to put the three key, black keys. So I have one and make these just a little thicker. Okay, then I'm going to put the two black keys and three black keys. And if you notice, the keys are getting smaller as they're going away from me. Maybe even a little closer together. So the piano has this movement to it. So I'm going to go in here. Black key. And the three keys. So I'm using this marker, but um, you can use a finer tip marker if you want a little more control. I just like to fill it in quick, so I don't mind if it's a fat line, but if you find it a little hard to work with, you can go to a skinnier one. Now, I want the front of the piano to look like it's going down. So I'm gonna give it some line work. I'm gonna go like this and create a shine on the front of the piano. And I'm gonna fill in the piano with just up and down strokes where I want it to get darker, the lines get closer together. Stay up and down, that way it has that look of it bending. So I'm going to do it again over here. And make it closer together. I can make it totally solid black. It is tempting to turn your, your pen the other way, but in order for it to look like it's straight up and down, keeping the strokes straight up and down does help. Just thin it out where I want some shine on the piano. So it just looks like the piano has some shine. Now I'm going to just clean up my edges. Now I want the piano to look like it's moving. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of motion. Little wiggle over here, little wiggle over here. And I'm gonna thicken the inside edge of this so it looks like there might be a front to the piano. So it's an odd shaped piano, but it just is more animated than if you just made it a regular shape. I'm gonna add a few little thin lines now going this way, following the curve. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to add a filler. So the filler for this one, let's give him some sheet music. So the sheet music is coming at me, so it's going to get bigger as it comes at me. I'm going to add a few lines in here, little stanzas, and then a few dots to give the impression of music notes. I'm going to make these look like they're moving as well. Maybe another little sheet of paper over here go, some dots, a few motion lines, maybe another sheet over here floating. So these lines always get bigger as they come at you. There we go, stanzas. So you don't have to get into great detail, just uh, sometimes it's better to keep it from looking stiff to not put too much detail into it. So now I'm going to put in a few music notes. Any kind of music note you want. Okay, and then as far as clothes, we want to kind of, I'm going to keep this a black and white. You could color this if you want, but I thought it'd be kind of cool if I just kept this one black and white. So I'm going to darken his hair by just kind of following the lines of what I've already done and leaving a few touches of highlight in his hair. So not solid. I'm kind of leaving some touches of white. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to take and do his bow tie. So I want to keep a little highlight on his bow tie. So I'm just kind of leave a few touches of white on the bow tie as well to give a little shine to it. 
There we go, same with that center point. Then I'm gonna take and do that line work going around the corner, leave a little white where I wanna highlight on his shoulder, go right up to the edge of my collar. Just gonna fill this in. Leave a few touches of highlight in the wrinkles of the fabric. And I'll leave his cuffs white. So I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to leave a little highlight again right on his shoulder. So now I have to think about how am I going to do the collar of his coat and make it stand out against this solid black that I've used on his arms. So we want to make, you have to kind of think ahead of how you're going to do that. Sometimes you could use a color. It could have a color lapel on his coat. It could be gray. It could be a bright color. It could be like rainbow. It could be, you know, he could look like Elton John if he wanted to and have him do some crazy wild colors, sparkle. But in this case, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch my pen to a thinner pen and I'm just going to give it some line work. So it looks like it could be like a shiny lapel. And I'm just going to keep the lines kind of going in one direction. And it just gives the, you can see that it's still the same coat, but it just looks like it's, a, you know, a, got some shine to the fabric. You can shade inside his shirt a little bit. Anywhere you want to put a little shadow, you can do that with your finers. So say you wanted to put a little bit on his cuff. Say you wanted to add a little line work on his cuff to give the impression of a shadow. Or you can use it on the sheet music. You can use it on his face. So if I wanted to use a little on his face, I can just kind of shade in the edges of his face, go near his eye, maybe with a little bit of, give him a little eyebrow color in his glasses a bit, the side of his nose, maybe the underside of his jaw. These lines should be just faint lines. You can almost use a dull pen. I sometimes will save some of my pens that are not quite as juicy and they're kind of dried out a little bit. Sometimes are better to use those duller pens for those times where you want not so much of the ink to go in. You just want a fine line, almost like a shadowed line. Anyway, this is a fun little cartoon uh, example of using a profile face on a front view that um, artists will sometimes do. So watch for that when you're looking at cartoons. The other thing is you'll notice sometimes artists will eliminate a finger. We've given him four fingers because they were moving, but Sometimes in cartoons, they make the hands fatter, so there's got to be some give there. So they will sometimes only show three fingers instead of four fingers and a thumb. And the reason for that is the hands are in motion, and a lot of times you don't see all the fingers when a hand is in motion. So, you know, they sometimes will eliminate that. So uh, take, watch for that and have some fun with this. It's a, and you can do it in bright colors, color background, keep it all black and white, whatever you want to do but uh, enjoy.